Hi, I'm Abby McHugh Griffa, Executive Director of the Climate Solutions Accelerator. And I must start out today's video with a bunch of thank yous. To everyone who attended our recent Climate Solutions Summit, thank you so much for being there, being a part of it. Thank you also to the presenters and panelists who contributed their time and expertise, to our program advisory committee who helped us develop the program, which I think those who were there would, could attest it was really interesting and like gave us a lot of different ways of exploring the connection between climate and health and equity. Uh, also, my colleagues and, and the Hyatt staff who took care of the logistics and just made it happen. And lastly, of course, our sponsors who provided the financial support that made the event possible. So thank you, thank you, thank you to everyone who was engaged in the summit in some way. Thank you also to everyone who has already or who plans to soon uh, contribute to our Earth Week appeal. Um, we, again, rely on financial support to be able to do the work they, that we do. So those donations, those contributions, please don't underestimate their importance. Whether you can give a little bit or you can give a lot, it is deeply needed and appreciated. So thank you, thank you for that. Now, relationship building. Uh, one of the purposes of our summit every year is to bring people together so we can know each other and be building those relationships on which we can, you know, provide the basis really for the collaboration that is necessary to implement climate solutions. And we do have another relationship building opportunity coming up our green drinks event. And just to differentiate, you know, kind of what's the purpose of green drinks versus some other uh, networking relationship building opportunities that we provide. Green drinks is really for people who are there in some kind of professional capacity. So maybe you are a sustainability consultant or work for an organization where you are the director of sustainability. You would totally make sense to come to this. But maybe you're a person who works for an organization that does something kind of random and you just want to get climate solutions going, you want to encourage your organization to be more sustainable, you would also be a good fit for this. Or if you are a person who maybe is looking to switch careers or coming into your career just starting and you want to get the lay of the land and kind of meet the people. Also, this would be a good event for you. So that's Green Drinks coming up soon. Would love to see you there. Continuing on the theme of relationships, um, for the past couple months in my videos, I've mentioned that I'm really focused kind of in my personal journey here on healing my relationships, specifically with other people, with myself, and with the planet. So in this video, I want to dig in just a little bit about what that healing my relationship with the planet looks like for me. Um, so one big component is not taking the earth for granted, which I think, you know, we, uh, we often do in, in our culture here. So recognizing that I am in fact part of nature and not, um, you know, superior to it in any way, uh, but that I am, you know, a part of this interconnected web of life and my ability to thrive depends on the thriving of ecosystems. So that's just kind of like a fundamental reframe that has happened in my mind over the past couple of years that I think is really fundamental to being able to work effectively on behalf of the planet. Um, some other things that have been important for me is just acknowledging and understanding and addressing my really quite profound ignorance about the natural world. Um, you know, I mean, I think I had kind of the same basic science education as most people. Of course, didn't go into that field professionally. Um, but, you know, I took science class growing up, but still my, my understanding of how the natural world works was really quite superficial. Uh, and certainly didn't have much in the way of a hands-on component. So that um, is something I'm working to address. One of the primary ways that I'm working to address that is through gardening and specifically permaculture gardening. I'm in the process of very, very slowly and with some bumps in the road, uh, turning my yard into an urban food forest paradise. And since I don't know what I'm doing, since I am quite ignorant, uh, I'm learning a lot along the way and making a lot of mistakes, but oh my gosh, I've learned so much about things that I just didn't know before. For example, about beneficial insects and about soil fertility and about all these different plants that do amazing things like nitrogen fixers, for example. Um, so just the process of getting in there in the dirt and doing it for myself um, has been really profound for me in terms of 
my learning and growth and understanding how I am in fact connected to the natural world. So I would encourage you, even if you don't identify as a gardener, maybe plant a little something this year, like it's so satisfying uh, to cultivate um, you know, life in that way. Uh, and, and you don't have to go major, just start small and along the way you will learn about these things. It's fun. Uh, and lastly, I would just mention that healing our relationships with the earth has to include taking the earth into account really in all of our decisions. So in terms of the products we purchase, what we eat, how we travel, uh, you know, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. If the earth is not a factor in our decision making that we just consider and we weigh relative to other factors, we are likely going to be causing harm. So, um, you know, I would just invite you to kind of integrate that into your process. When you think about, do you want to buy this or do you want to buy that? Think about, of course, what are the environmental impacts of those two options? Or do you want to go here on vacation or do you want to go here on vacation? Well, what, are the, what does that mean for the environment in either way? And just beginning to use it as a factor in decision making. And hopefully with the desire of having a really mutually respectful, symbiotic relationship with your natural environment um, where you are benefiting and the earth is benefiting too because you are in fact connected. And that's it. All right, thanks so much for listening. Hope you have a wonderful day.